Well, hello, we're Jason and Caroline Zook, and we are about to travel full time for a year. Yeah, so we're huge nerds. We love planning. We also love packing. We watched a ton of videos like this, and that's why we decided to record one for you. We're a couple months away from leaving, but we have a pretty good idea of what we want to pack. Yeah, we thought it would be fun to show what we're going to pack and then compare it once we're actually on the road and see what did we get right, what did we get very wrong. <laughs> so look forward to another packing video once we've been traveling to be like, you guys, Past us, what were you doing? Idiots. If you're also thinking about traveling full time, hopefully from this video you get a couple of ideas and takeaways, or maybe you just laugh hysterically at the things that we think we're gonna need. You might be like, ooh, I wanna pack that, I wanna pack that, I wanna pack that, but then be like, but how would I pack all of those yeah. things? And that's probably what we're gonna figure out too. We have decided to go completely carry on only, and each of us are taking a roller bag and then also a travel backpack. <laughs> Good job, Vanna White. I'm Vanna White. <laughs> For this lovely roller suitcase, we went with the bigger carry-on from Away, but with no charger installed, which we'll talk about later. Right, and so you might be wondering, okay, why'd you go with a rolling suitcase versus just a backpack option? And we asked ourselves that same thing. Ultimately, I thought, you know, it might be inconvenient on like some cobblestone streets or maybe an Airbnb that doesn't have an elevator or something like that, but that amount of time is so minuscule compared yeah. to the amount of times we're gonna be going through train stations or airports. And I really really wanted something that would save our backs. Um, yeah. And so that's why we ultimately went with the roller. And the other thing is we love the double-sided design where you have a compartment on each side. Our older Samsonite bag just was one big open compartment. And we just think there's a lot more organization we'll get with these roller bags. For our secondary bag, we opted to go for the Peak Design Travel Backpack, the 45 liters. This thing is a beast. I'm a bit of a bag nerd, so I've had a bunch of different travel backpacks over the years. They're all great, they all have their own little things, but this really is, as the name says, Peak Design. Yeah, so Jason was doing a bunch of research and he was like talking to me about bags and I was like, I don't really care. The second this showed up in the mail and I looked and like, explored all the nooks and crannies. I'm officially obsessed with this backpack. Yeah, you've been wearing it around the house. We're not even traveling <laughs> okay. anywhere. You've been packing right. it. We didn't really talk. We enjoying didn't, this bag. I didn't agree to you sharing that with everybody. Not too bad. Here's a quick Zook Pro Travel tip. We looked up the return policy on both these bags. This was a 30 day, this was a 100 day. And then we made sure to purchase them when we had a trip within the return window so that we could fully test out the bags, make sure they were right for us. And if not, we would have returned them, but they're top notch. We love them. All right, now let's dive into what is actually inside of my Away roller suitcase. So let's start on the compression side here. Woo, compression! I don't know where that came from. So first up, actually let's start with the biggest packing cube I have. These are the Away packing cubes, the set of four. So let's start with this big guy. This biggest packing cube is all of my cold weather climate clothing. So let's open her up and go through quickly each item. So I have a scarf a sort of heavier sweater, a lighter sweater. Cute, it's polka dots, got it on sale, no big deal. This is just like a long sleeve plain layering tee, very soft. And then I have both of, yes, this still has the tags on because I'm just deciding on if I want this size or a bigger size, totally fine. But I have some kind of looser fit blue jeans and then also some tighter fit skinny black jeans. And yes, that is all that fits in this huge packing cube, but cold weather stuff is big. All right, packing assistant. You could clear my items here. Okay, oh, love a good packing assistant. Moving on to warm weather items. So this is the next biggest size of packing cube. This is all of my main clothing for, you know, spring, summer, into fall. So we have a plain white short sleeve button down, very versatile. We have a black and white striped t-shirt, soft a lightweight cardigan, it's like a tissue cardigan. I love this piece of clothing. I bought it many, many years ago from Anthropology, and it's just like the perfect lightweight sweater. A black plain tank, very soft. And then I have three pairs of shorts. I have just like army green paper bag short, a linen striped short for some pattern versatility, and then just your good old denim cut off shorts. This black dress is kind of an all purpose. It's really cute, but it goes with everything. And it's just like a cute black summer dress, but you could also wear it into spring and fall. And then just a nice little purple um, lightweight tank for a little bit of added color and a flowy black and white patterned skirt. Packing assistant, oh, yeah, you're doing a great job. Moving on to this third packing cube here, this is We'll call it my intimates, <laughs> but it's really just like underwear, bathing suits, that socks. Um, so we have a couple of bras. I actually have 
another smaller container for all of my underwear. So I'm not gonna show you that, but this is like one of my favorite purchases. So all my underwear is in here. And then I have two bathing suits. I have a one piece bathing suit, a bikini, two pairs of socks. I'm actually gonna replace these with black workout socks and then two pairs of thicker wool socks as well as just another little um, cotton bralette. And that is everything in my intimate packing cube. Sorry, we just got intimate for a second. Thank you. Next up in this, again, cute little square packing cube, my jewelry, I'm not gonna go through each piece of it, but in here is my jewelry and hair accessories like handkerchiefs, hair scarves, things like that. So it all fits in this little packing cube. All right, moving on. That was the compression side. I love that it um, straps together and you can tighten the straps and really like pack it down. Let's get into the zipper side. Where do we begin? Let's start with the packing cube over here. This is my active wear and pajamas packing cube. So open this up. We have first and foremost, this active wear jacket. I have had this for many, many years and it is one of the items I use the most when I travel. It just has all the right pockets and it's just like a little stretchy, kind of like a Lululemon dupe. I got it from Target. Then I have two pairs of pajamas. I have a warm climate pajamas, which is just like a tank and shorts. I made sure to get them in black because I can utilize the pajama tank top as a layering piece for regular clothing, not just pajamas. For active wear, I have um, a workout tank, again, in black because this has like a built-in little bra and I can wear that under normal daytime clothing. Pair of biker shorts. And then this is my cold climate PJ set. It's actually a pair of like the softest joggers you'll ever find. And then also it's a set, so it comes with the sweater top as well. And I love it because you can wear, again, the pajama top looks perfectly fine as a regular long sleeve shirt. And the joggers actually you could wear in daytime as well. I'm thinking about versatility there, but they're also just super soft to wear as loungewear or pajamas. And then I have two workout bras, this one and this one. I have another workout tank in black and then another pair of leggings. So this is my one pair of leggings and then I have another pair of leggings that I plan to wear as my travel outfit every time we're on the road. That's my active wear. Ta-da! Next, we just have a really cute um, blazer. <laughs> Jason has made fun of me for all of my jackets. You'll see there's many more jackets to come but I just didn't wanna have all clothing that was just really boring and only black or white or neutral. This fun plaid jacket is just, this is a fashion choice. And then I also have my strapless bra, which is just an odd shape and didn't really fit well into any packing cubes, as well as a rain jacket, which is just like a super lightweight rain jacket. But now moving on, again, this is a questionable space choice, but everybody has their thing. My thing is I have a lot of hair and I like my specific hair products. So this carrying case is specifically for my Dyson Airwrap. Now, the weird thing about the Dyson Airwrap is you actually aren't supposed to bring the American plug version over to Europe. I think even with an adapter, there's like, it's like a fire hazard or something. So what I plan to do is sell my Dyson Airwrap and just put my straightener in this carrying case. When I get over there, I might purchase one. But inside of this little carrying case, I like it because right now I do have my air up in there and then it also fits the attachments. I have four of these little hair clips that are great for blow drying your hair, a little towel wrap de do thing that helps when I dry my hair out of the shower. So this is like my, my hair bag. Continuing on this side, we have my everyday purse and there's nothing in it. This will be just what I'll take as we go out and do little go to coffee shops or day trips or things like that. And then the rest of this is just shoes. So these are pretty much all the shoes I'm taking except the ones that I'll be wearing when we travel. These are my Kizik's. They're good for working out as well as just like walking around. And I like that they're just plain black. They don't look as sporty as like say some other tennis shoes. This is a pair of sandals, but they're fairly supportive and flexible, which I like. And they have the ankle strap. So again, cobblestone streets they're not gonna slip off. And then finally, for like a little pop of pattern, I have these Rothy's, which I love because they're so flexible. They fold down really easily and also just comfortable. I like that, it, again, it adds another little flair to the wardrobe so not everything is just mix and match black and white. Speaking of that, if you're interested in us making another video about how we made our you know, travel capsule wardrobe and all the pieces of clothing that we're taking and how we make outfits and things like that, comment below because I'd be interested in making that for you guys. And that is my full away suitcase. Well, hello and welcome to my away bag. Let's dig in. I'm gonna go zipper side first. 
Yeah, I know, the, the audience is excited. All right, zipper side first. Uh, I wear a size 15 shoe, so I'm not able to fit as many shoes as most people, but I had to make some choices, so I did. I've got some flip-flops because I know we're gonna go to some tropical climates, so I wanna make sure that I always have something for that. The bigger shoe item in here is like a rugged outdoor shoe. I did a lot of boot research, which is a very exciting thing to do. Uh, this was the great boot saga of 2020, and I ended up, or 2021, whatever year it is, I ended up with these Feel Grounds boots, and you can see I'm using one of our workout bands to kind of tie them together to keep them compressed down, but really excited to put these to use. They are waterproof, so I think they're gonna be a good, versatile boot. Just like Caroline, because we're married, I also have a pair of the Kizix. You may have seen these in our Day in the Life video. These bands really do a good job of holding them together. Uh, but they're just really good, minimal shoe. The pack down, super light. They also are super light to carry and to wear, and they're unobtrusive. That is my shoes. I have another pair that I'll be wearing when I travel, which we'll show later. In here, because I'm gonna be the one carrying all of our electronics so we can make videos like this, I've got a switch pod. Our friend Caleb invented this uh, with Pat, and we just love this thing, so that's where it lives. The other half of this is an electronics cube. So this is very uh, exciting for all of you electronics nerds like me. Half of the stuff that's in here is not actually in here because it's in use right now, like the camera that's on a tripod. Um, but I'll just open this up and show you some of the items. So we got batteries, random little bits and bobs here. Uh, this blood pressure monitor is currently holding space for the camera, so that's a good little thing. Uh, I've got a memory card holder, call this the Hansky, because it's called Hansky. Various cables, XLR cables, because we have our two microphones. So these are two handheld microphones we use for our podcast. There's a, another little lens that's a wider angle lens for the Sony camera. And then this is the Zoom H6 audio interface device. Wow, that got nerdy. About six of you probably care, but the ones that you care, uh, you're welcome. Hope you enjoyed my electronics cube. And now my packing assistant will help. These shoes are large. Oh God. Believe it or not, that's half of my suitcase already done. So let's move over to this side. Uh, you'll notice in here, I've got some various workout bands. We're still trying to figure out what our workouts are gonna be like on the road, because right now we have adjustable dumbbells and we're not about to be able to pack those. But I am going no packing cubes for my clothing. Wow, 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 wow. What? I know, I know. I originally did have packing cubes. I've loved packing cubes forever, I'm a big packing cube fan. But after watching a lot of travel people talk about this, I think they're right, because I could also pack this a lot easier without packing cubes. So I have all of my clothes just kind of strewn about. I have this blue bomber jacket, which is super versatile, also really lightweight. Uh, I have an alternative apparel crew neck sweatshirt. It's supposed to be good layering, especially for cold climates. I have a shacket. I have joined the ranks of those who wear a shacket, so that's exciting for me. Uh, I have no idea if I look good in it, but we'll find out. Question from the crowd. Uh-huh, go on. Do you know what words combine to make the word shacket? I do, it's a shirt and a jacket. Very exciting. I'm bringing three pairs of pants, so I have more of like a utility, it's raining type of pant. Then I have two chinos, this light olive green color, and then my favorites, which are these burgundy ones. Uh, we'll see if I end up bringing all these all the time, but for right now, I'm gonna pack them and see how it goes. Uh, workout pants, so I've got, or workout shorts. I've got two pairs of workout shorts from Lululemon, and then I also have a casual short which can double as a bathing suit. So this is a good versatile piece that can kind of be worn all the time. I really wear it all the time now, so I know it's pretty versatile. I've got a merino wool because if you're traveling full time, you gotta have a merino wool. This is a good long sleeve base layer. I think this is a 165 for all you merino wool nerds. There's probably a Venn diagram of electronics cube and merino wool people. And like you guys exist right here. I live there too, welcome. This is a long sleeve. This is just the Goodfellow brand from Target, just a green long sleeve. Again, like Caroline, I don't just wanna wear grays and blacks, uh, so it's fun to have a pop of color. And then getting into uh, workout shirts, I just have two Lululemon workout shirts, which are very versatile, very easy uh, to bring and pack because they're small. And I have one tank top. This is probably gonna get replaced because uh, someone has told me it doesn't fit me that well, so. Right traveling uh, full time, you gotta look good. Got a little striped tee here. Have a couple of my t-shirts that are my favorites from the brand Ugbunk. Really, really high quality, well-made t-shirts. So I have that in rust, black, blue, 
gray, and then I also have a white one, which is actually the color bone that I wear when I'm traveling. And then I have one more shirt. I might actually replace this and just do an extra white shirt because white shirts are gonna get dirty eventually, but I really like it. So I'll probably replace that with another white one. And then I have one short sleeve button up shirt because at some point or another, I'm gonna have to go somewhere that requires buttons on a shirt. So this is the shirt that I can wear when I do that. And the last couple items, I have a laptop or a, yeah, a laptop stand for my laptop that fits in here in the bottom. This has been a big point of personal drama for me, which is what kind of coffee setup am I bringing? Uh, if you watched our day in the life video, you also saw that we love our coffee and I think I'm going with the AeroPress, but not this one. I'm gonna go with the newer one, which is the smaller, more compact. And then I'm just always gonna have a bag of ground coffee, which is not my favorite. I would love to grind my coffee every morning, but traveling full time, I don't think that's realistic. I don't wanna pack a grinder and go through all that. So I'm just gonna have a bag of ground coffee everywhere we go, stored here in the bottom of my bag, and then all my clothes will smell like coffee, and then it'll be great. And that's my away suitcase. All right, time for part two of my travel situation. And what is inside of my Peak Design travel backpack. I love this bag so much, and I wish I could show you all the cool features, but I'm just gonna show you what is inside. So on the outside pocket here, I'm gonna start with that. There's just like a little tiny pocket here at the top, which is perfect for my phone and also my passport. Uh, Jason might carry both our passports, but if we ever need to just throw it into a pocket, that's great for that. And then now let's start with this outer pouch here. So if I open this up, I love how deep the zipper goes so you can like really fold it back. There's all kinds of fun little nooks and crannies in here. So in this top pouch guy, I'm not gonna take everything out, but I have a little, my brush, it's collapsible. It also fits into a day bag or a purse really well. We have some pens, Tide pen, because come on, that's a, a travel staple. And then also these little wet ones wipes perfect for, you know, disinfecting things or if you just need to wash your hands. This entire pocket, I actually don't have anything in it right now, so that's extra space. And then down here, deep in the bottom here, I have a power bank. So perfect for charging up your laptop or various devices when you're not next to a wall outlet. I have another one of those square packing cubes. In this one, this is my cord organizer. Laptop, wall charger, I mean, every little cord and different adapter that you could want is in here. That's where that goes. Traveled with this already and it fits nicely down there. Also have in here a collapsible tote bag. So this comes out and it's one of those water resistant tote bags, which comes in handy a lot for groceries or wet bathing suits or things like that. Also have my wallet, very important. And then finally my iPad just fits nice and snug right in here. Easy access when we're getting on an airplane and want to put this in the overhead compartment, but want to have the laptop for the flight, just take this right out and then throw the bag up top. Moving on here, we have Kindle in here and then also a notebook. I really like to journal every day, so this is good for reading on the go. And then I really like this spiral bound, so it opens completely. And then the flexible cover is great for packing, obviously. All right, that's the outside pouch. The last thing on the outside here is my handy Brita water bottle. So this Brita water bottle has a built-in filter. So you can fill it up with tap water anywhere and it will filter for you, which is great when you're just going country to country. You can just feel good about the filtered tap water that you're drinking. Now let's flip her over and let's get into the inside. This main compartment acts a lot, honestly, like a roller suitcase. In the back side here is actually the laptop compartment. So that's where it just kind of fits snug to your back. That's the side that'll be closest to your back when you're wearing the backpack. And then right on top here flat, I have my day pack. So it's just a little backpack from Topo Designs. I researched like the perfect backpack for me. The reason why this works well for me is just it's so flexible in packing down. There were a lot of day packs that I liked, but they just would take up way too much room. This one is very simple, it's canvas, but it does have a laptop sleeve inside of it that fits my 15 inch laptop. On day trips where we wanna go to a nearby city and work for the day and I wanna bring my laptop or throw a bunch of stuff in the bag and I'll be gone from the Airbnb for the day, I wanted to have something that was smaller than this big Peak Design backpack to carry. All right, on the inside compartment here, we have a couple of things. Let's start up here at the top. So this is my, what I call my dry toiletries, just my little dop kit here. And in here is just stuff, anything that's in the bathroom that is not a liquid. 
makeup wipes, deodorant, um, hair ties, things like that. Everything of that nature goes in this nice little packing cube here. This packing cube as well as these are actually packing cubes that came with another backpack I had from a company called Nordace, but I think I'm just gonna keep the packing cubes and sell the backpack because I really love the cubes. And then moving on here, we have my liquids. So I wanted to make sure to have all of those separated and in a nice little compartment so that when we're going through TSA or the airports of various different countries, very easily I can um, grab this and check it or whatever their regulations are. Then I have my makeup case here. So what I love about this makeup case is that it has two sides to it. So on the one side, you have all your makeup, which I've whittled down my makeup to just the most essentials. And then on the other side, separate, you have all your, a place for your brushes. And I just think like the way that it feels sturdy enough to be protected, but flexible enough to pack down. It just fits really nicely. So I love this case. Couple other random items here. So I have all of my different lipsticks and lip products. In my experience, when you travel with lipsticks, inevitably one will just get messy and get on the rest of your makeup. So I separate those. Next up we have what I call my wellness pouch. It's basically just like a first aid kit. It's got a couple of things, Band-Aids, Advil, Tylenol, Dramamine, Tums, all of those things that you might need when you're on the go. The big stuff you could usually, we're gonna be in places that have a pharmacy, but just you never wanna get caught like on a bus or on a train or something and need Dramamine. So that's what this is for. Okay, this is another kind of placeholder item, but I take daily vitamins and supplements that are extremely important for my mental health. That's kind of how I manage my mental health and it works really well for me. And so I wanted to make sure that when we were on the road, I would at least have like a two month supply with me. And then when I get in locations that have uh, those resources available, I can restock my different vitamins. This is not the case that I'll be taking them in, but it's about the size of the case that I've ordered to fit them. And so then I have in there these little, I don't love that they're plastic, but I'll reuse them. But I have a two month supply of daytime pouches and nighttime pouches for all of my supplements. So. Had to make sure there was room for that. Moving on here, two more packing cubes. This is my jackets cube. I told you Jason was gonna make fun of me for all my jackets. In this packing cube are only two jackets. If you can believe that. One is a heavier sweater that I actually will wear quite a bit in my travel outfit. But when I'm not wearing that, I will wear my jean jacket that I'm wearing right now. So those take up about the same amount of space. So when I'm wearing this on a travel day, I'll pack my jean jacket in here. And then this is my all weather, more like rain jacket slash colder climate jacket. It keeps me really warm. It's a North Face jacket. And those are literally the only two things that fit in here. More stuff could fit because it's just a compression cube. But what I love about these Nordace packing cubes um, that the Away cubes don't have is they have this compression design. So they're actually quite a bit deeper. You can see they expand. And then once you pack it down, you can zip the compression item so it packs it down nice. Last couple of items here. This is my overflow cube. So I actually left this pretty intentionally empty, but wanted to make sure that it, it would pack with at least a little bit of room. I've packed it a little bit thicker in previous packs and it does actually fit everything. But it's just, I'm leaving room for if we are at places and I wanna buy an, a clothing item or two, and it's always good just to leave a little bit of extra room in your suitcase just to make sure everything does pack down and it's not a super, super snug fit, but you never know when you'll need that extra packing cube. So this is my like overflow packing cube. And then finally, another jacket because your girl loves her jackets. This is my leather jacket and I just, oh, pleather, it's not real leather vegan leather. I really like it for that kind of middle climate when it's a little bit chilly outside and you're in a place where you want to look cool and wear a leather jacket. That's what that's for. And that's all my stuff. Welcome to my backpack. It's the same bag, so obviously you already know what's going on with it. In the outside pocket, I have my little Herschel wallet here. I really like this wallet. Uh, one of the things that we're not used to here in the States is having coins that are actually of some value. So I picked this wallet specifically because as we've traveled overseas before, you end up with coins being worth more than you think. So I wanted a place to put those. So I've got this guy with a couple cards on the backside. I think I also have some like lip balm and AirPods and some sanitization wipes in here because you got to keep your hands clean while you're traveling. So that is my outside small pocket. And then in this pocket, I am using this 
lightweight jacket as an example placeholder for my waterproof jacket. So that's where this is gonna go in my bag so I can have quick access to it. Caroline packed hers in her suitcase, her roller suitcase, and when it's raining, I'm gonna love to watch her unpack that. I'm just kidding, babe, I love you. You can pack your stuff wherever you want. Inside these zippers, I have two little notebooks and a Kindle as well. I'm really excited to take notes about our travels, write down some of our memories, some of our favorite places, restaurants, other things. I just think having those physical notes is gonna be really fun after this trip. And then I think like Caroline as well, I don't have anything in, in these lower uh, zip pockets. I don't know if it's just because nothing really fits in there, like maybe a paper of some sort could go in there, but not much else. Uh, up here, I've got what I like to call my dad snack area. So this is where when some of us get hangry while we're traveling, we'll have some snacks. So just a couple different things, maybe a uh, protein bar or two will be up here. And then I'll also have a pen and then just a tiny notebook uh, in case I need it. But that's pretty much everything that's up here and in the outside small pack area. On the outside, I mentioned this earlier, one of my favorite features is the double water bottle sleeves. So I have a Brita filter as well, like Caroline already mentioned. And then the amazing, outstanding, ridiculously awesome, and priced for it, Peak Design tripod. Uh, I'm gonna travel the world with a tripod because we're gonna wanna capture a video of ourselves and other things and record while we're in places just like this. So this tripod being this slim is amazing and it's pretty awesome that it fits outside on a water bottle holder. Welcome to the inside of the Peak Design bag. Up here, laptop pouch as well, just like Caroline. Uh, got the laptop in there. It's really good, easy access. First item is my crossbody bag. It is not a fanny pack. It is a crossbody sling, and I am very fashionable because of it. But I found this one, I really like just the kind of minimal shape of it. It's by Track. It has a little hidden pocket here on the back where I could put other things, but I actually plan on using this a lot while we're traveling, especially if we're filming stuff on the go. We don't plan on filming talking head while we're walking, like a lot of travel filmmakers. We plan on doing a lot of just like sitting like this and talking and then just filming B-roll. So I have a multitude of different tripods. This one's kind of fun. It's got these little legs that uh, pop out here and then the top opens up. And when it opens, it's got some feet on it. So kind of a really interesting design. I believe they call it a selfie stick. I refuse to call it a selfie stick. But it's cool, and then uh, most people know this little handheld tripod. This is just a little placeholder for uh, the Glyph tripod mount, but I just wanted to have that space be accurately represented. All right, I'm just gonna jump right into wet toiletries. Caroline said she has dry toiletries, so these are my wet ones. A third of my toiletry bag is not for me. I have bug repellent for Caroline, and then this is gonna be sunscreen, shave cream, which Caroline will use too. So really, yeah, a third of my wet toiletries. <laughs> Yeah, uh, toothpaste, post shave balm for my head, and then face lotion, which has SPF in it. So that's usually what I use for sun protection. Next up are the Bose headphones. So Caroline's not bringing a big set of headphones, but she does use the AirPods Pro. So I'm bringing these Bose headphones. Love traveling with noise canceling headphones. And like many adults who travel these days, you gotta have a Nintendo Switch to keep you entertained. So I will be looking forward to Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 when it comes out next year while we're traveling and playing that on the go. This is one of my favorite things that we've picked up from a couple different travelers. It is a little handheld USB fan and it feels good right now while I'm filming. You're probably gonna hear it on the microphone, uh, but really excited to have this thing because we both run really hot. So a little portable fan I think is gonna be clutch. Moving on to glasses. So I have a pair of glasses that I'll wear while I'm working on the laptop. And then I have a pair of sunglasses. Both have hard cases, easy to pack. Two additional little collapsible tote bags. So these are amazing that they pack down this small and they even get smaller than that. Uh, so excited to have these just to throw groceries in or whatever when we're going around. This is number two of three of my electronics cubes. So the first one was in the away bag. This one has our travel adapters for all of our things. There's a miscellaneous threads and like screws and things for tripods. Uh, this is our power strip. So it's got a little power strip in here. And then I think there's, oh yeah, the one kind of, I don't know, somewhat interesting thing. This little guy sits on top of the switch pod tripod that we have and it holds the iPhone and the Sony camera that we're filming with right now at the same time, which is a cool thing to use. We use it for our coaching calls, which is fun. Electronics cube number three. This is a really awesome little guy. It holds all of the things. One of my favorite things is the 
It's like cubes within cubes that you have. Caroline has some of these as well. This is for the wireless Rode mics that we use to record all of our audio. So that actually sits right in here, which is fun. I've got a two terabyte external drive, I've got a wireless charger, uh, an all around cable with all the things. I'm not gonna go through all of it, but just there's so much stuff in here and it really does pack down pretty small when you consider I pretty much have every cord you could ever need in this bag. Now to my dry toiletries, nothing really of interest in here that I, I wanted to share except for as someone who is bald and needs to shave their head so that their hair doesn't look just gross. Uh, I started using this electric shaver by a company called Pitbull and we love our bullies, so it's kind of fun to support. But it's just an electric head shaver and I use it every single day. It takes like five minutes. Uh, we've got our electric toothbrush in here that I carry. I've got my sleep mask, a couple razors, Q-tips, all the important things you need in your dry toiletries. Just two items left, one of which is our travel umbrella. This might be a little bit extra, but I don't know. We've heard some full-time travelers say that just having an umbrella on you is just a good thing. We've been caught in the rain, both not when traveling and just kind of being around and it's never fun. So definitely want to have an umbrella and it fits, so it's fine. And then if you were watching me go through my entire suitcase and you were like, hey, where's your underwear, man? Where are your intimates? They're right here. So I'm not gonna open it because obviously we don't show you underwear, but I've got a week's worth of underwear, a couple different socks, a merino wool sock, my belt, and a beanie all in this little packing cube. And that pretty much wraps up my Peak Design bag and all the things that I'm taking in it. Holy cow, that was a lot of <laughs> items. So those are all 246 items that we are gonna bring with us as we travel full-time next year. We know exactly how many items it is because we have a Notion database that lists them all out. That's the only way we're keeping track of all those yeah. things. But let us know, was it too many things? Did we overdo it? Did we underdo it? Did we miss something really obvious? Let us know in the comments what you thought. Yeah, are you surprised that we could fit 246 things into two bags? I'm, I'm very curious to read those comments and we're very excited to remake this video a couple of months into our travels to be like, did we get it completely Future wrong? Future Us is gonna be like, you guys you were guys, horrible what? at this. Yeah. We'll find out. So thanks for watching. If you wanna subscribe, go ahead and do that. We'll make some more travel videos as we get closer to leaving and sharing more of that journey with you. And we appreciate you being here.